Okay, well, good morning. Got the new motor in today for the Craftsman lawnmower. So I'm gonna get the box open and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, well, here it is. I just cut the top open now. Let's see what she looks like. It's not the exact replacement, but they said everything is the same pretty much. Because the exact replacement was uh, a little bit too much money, I guess. So the only thing I know here is different is that it has a muffler, so I take that out and hopefully our uh, other one will fit. And it has a fuel pump, and I said I didn't want a fuel pump. I said I just need gravity fed. So hopefully everything else plugs in the same. We got. Four plugs there, and we got yeah, I think it's the same. Well, I guess we'll find out. So let me dig in this a little deeper and see if it's the right one. They told me they cross-referenced the whole thing. It's going to be just beautiful. They said. So let's see if they're right. Okay, well, I think the plug-in thing is right. I looked at the old motor. It's the same. So, uh, we'll just have to not use a fuel pump, just use gravity fed. So let's see if everything else works. This is a 19.0, the other one was a 21. But this one's 540cc, and the other one was 540cc. So it's the same, pretty much the same thing. See if I can get that baby out of there. Look at that beastie thing in there. Ooh. You know what I did? I put that in there and I forgot to put the muffler back in. I have to take it back off with the muffler back. Oh my goodness. Here's the muffler. Danny got it all welded up. I can't see if you can see, so I don't know. They welded it there. And it got down in here too. It was all cracked all the way around. So I got that fixed up for her. Otherwise, it seems like a pretty good muffler. Okay, all I've done is sit the new motor in there. Here's what she is right here. Well, that'd be upside down for you guys. So. Okay, all I've done is I put the motor in so far, just got it sitting in there. And I was going to take off that uh, fuel pump and then put on the um, dipstick housing oil thing from the other one. But I don't want to uh, jeopardize her warranty by doing that, so I think I'm just going to leave that up there and just uh, not use it. So I don't need it. I think that's what I'm going to do with them. I don't want to screw up the warranty to your warranty on it. In case anything happens. So it's the professional series now. So i got to bolt it all in and uh, then go from there. Well, did I not have you guys on or did you just shut yourself off, huh? So, well, we found out here that... The guy on the phone was not the smartest person on earth. One of them parts guys. This motor won't bolt in just slap a dap a dap it like he thought it was. 
So now the holes over there were threaded in the block for the bolts. And guess what? These aren't. So the bolts I got won't work. So I gotta go buy bolts, washers, and nuts to bolt this stupid thing down now. Because the guy at the parts store said, oh yeah, your bolt right in there would be just wonderful. So let's go find some bolts. Now. Okay, well, I got the motor bolted in, got the exhaust down. I gotta get some oil for it. Well, I got the starter hooked up. I gotta lift it up with the lift and I gotta use the impact and get the bolt tight on the pulley. And then uh, just tighten up a few things and we should be able to try it out. So, okay, well, I got the motor in there, got it all bolted down, got everything tightened. Just put new oil in it. Well, new oil, duh. And then I got uh, the belt sewn. So I'm going to try it now, so you guys are my witnesses, so in case anything happens to this thing. Be the first start. I guess it won't be the first start. I'll be right back because i got to put the throttle linkage on. I forgot about that, so we'll be right back. Hold on a minute. Alright, well let's try this again. It's all humpy dumpy now. Let's see what happens.